Hello YouTube, um, today we're doing I Love Lost Skulls solo tutorial, the glitched way and how to do it easy. There's only really like one easy uh, glitch, there's one good glitch and you can do it on PlayStation. It's on the second to last level. You can completely skip the entire level, not have to fight any of them. And all I gotta say is I'm sorry because it uh, this is an upload super late at night because I actually died on Ghost Spirit earlier and had to take a break because I was hot and had to eat, do some other stuff, you know, everything a, a person would have to do. Let me make sure my mic's turned on. Okay, we're good. So I'm gonna take the stool, get rid of that, take this. Put it in your hand, grab another one. Just block. Keep blocking with one. Swap. Try to get him. If you don't, and it's fine. Go ahead and grab this guy's sword. Keep the two brooms. And the reason why is so you can try and hit this guy from far away. Take a sword. Make sure always be blocking this one. You're gonna get a guy to spawn here. When you take out two of them, you got a guy to spawn behind you. Make sure you hold your swords out as far in front of your face as you can. Because, um, if you don't, it, um, if, if you don't, you can get a glitch where they hit through your sword and it is the most annoying glitch. So just stay here, kind of. Dude, just block. If you have multiple in front of you, keep blocking. Uh, mostly everything has a durability of five. The brooms can keep going, but they won't do as much damage. Once you kill those two bottlers right there, you will spawn in three on the other side. Once you kill the two swashbucklers, you'll get two spawn over there. And once you kill the, the three bottlers, you'll get three more in the back. So uh, how you're going to do this is you're just going to run in, grab these two pots, and take out these two guys. So like slide, grab, block, so I can't hit you. Hit him, run around and block. Oh, I didn't kill him. What are you going to get? spawn up here. how much it takes then you got this guy uh so you're gonna grab three pans now i'm not grabbing gold but you can do this with gold you know it took your time that's just mostly how it is um grab the gold if you want it but i am not because this is just a tutorial on how to do it and yeah so go ahead and set your two pans out here grab two of these just kill him, come around, kill this guy. As soon as you do that, kind of run over here this way. Because uh, three will randomly spawn. Um, go ahead and take your pans in. You're going to get your first jug guy. Just kind of try to make sure it doesn't hit you. Take out this guy. Block so they can't hit you. So you take them out. You get this. Drop those. Grab the brooms. Make sure you kill this guy. So you can go under. And hit him from below. And then just take the brooms. Come over here. Kill him. They do less damage. Don't walk up here though. Because you... You will spawn in other people. I just broke this something. You can't. You can't throw a. You can't throw a, a stool into them, and it will kill them, even though they're they're coming at you. Go ahead and take two brooms back here. Save those. And you're gonna come up here. You might smash this because you don't want to grab that and explode it on yourself. You got two swordsmen. Oh dang, two swordsmen right here. And three bottlers, so you're gonna run up behind these boxes, just block so they can't get you. Go 
Make sure they can't get you. I did get these swordsmen because I was blocking before. Take these two swords, wait for them to throw. They'll hit the roof almost every time. Come down here. Make sure you're blocking. As soon as you kill one, you're gonna get another spawn. Try to kill them as fast as possible. Come down here, uh, grab your other pan that you had. You're gonna save the those, and then you're gonna grab this pan right here. And you're gonna wanna do exactly what I do. Uh, make sure you're not too tall in Rec Room. Uh, so you don't get hit. So you can come through this part right here. Just gonna come through. Once you do that, you're gonna spawn three back here. Just block. Block. How you do this? Just grab two brooms. Get that out of your way. As soon as they come to you, you kinda hit them. After 10 seconds, you got those guys spawn up there. But just sit right here with two brooms. As soon as you see their feet, just kill them. That's about all of them. Now you take two of these. Come under here. You, If you do run teleport, you can't just teleport through there. Just wait till they get up here. Then as soon as you hear them up there, throw that up there. So if that happens, just kind of run back here. And what you're going to do is you're going to block with one. Can throw a jug. Try to damage some of them. Then I recommend switching to a sword. And you got that. Um, pan doesn't really have much anymore. Go ahead and put these up here. Once you kill those, you're gonna get more spawn in on up there. But yeah, just run back because you will get those swordsmen spawn once you kill some. Get them all rounded up right here. Once you're sure that they're up there, just wait a few seconds. Just throw up there make sure none of them fall down if they do just kind of run back grab something to kill them and then do that come back grab some more sit right here until you start, until you you know they're there just kind of throw it up as soon as you get the noise just kind of throw the other one away because you don't want to die to it then you're going to come back make sure you got something on your back and what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down here. Nope, oh, wrong way. You're gonna come this way and you're gonna grab the two brooms that I told you to leave. And you come back up this way because it's the fastest way to come up. Then go ahead and come up here. Oh, my controller's a little laggy. You're gonna come through here. As soon as you come through here, um, you're gonna run immediately on the path that I show you because they immediately get aggroed. So hold your run your forward button and follow me. So you're gonna do this. As soon as he throws, you won't know. You can just come through, do that. Come over here. As soon as you kill one of these guys, okay, perfect. So you got one aggroed coming over here. As soon as you kill him, you get guys over here kill them oh, get it grab a sword back up go ahead and kill one run around you're gonna come down he's gonna follow you get ready go ahead while he's coming over here set your cannon up over there and as soon as you kill him, light the cannon so you can kill that guy. Because he can he's the only one that can kill you. Take a break for a minute if you need to. Then kill this guy. You're gonna have these guys spawn in over here. Uh I don't know what just happened. It's like it didn't render the bullet it's like it's not rendering the bullet at all. Then kill these guys. Don't hit, don't hit this, or um, don't hit the front because it will kill you. As soon as you take this down and it and it comes down, it will come down pretty fast too. You're gonna get these guys. Oh, I tried to get all three at once. Light it. Try to get all three. Get the guys up here. Just gonna duck behind the the 
the cannon. Kill this guy. He's the most dangerous. He can get you from all the way over there. This should be all of them. Aren't you sure it's all of them? You can go ahead and go. Make sure you got a, a melee weapon on your back at all times. I prefer a sword or a broom or a pan. You know, I prefer a broom because you can you can um, hit it longer range. Um, go ahead and go to the next level. Take your pistols, and this level is gonna be one of the longer levels because you're gonna take your time on it. Uh, it's gonna be kind of like Gibbet, but Gibbet is a little bit shorter, I'd say. Kind of just get your gun up here. If they see you, just kind of back off, find some cover. You have a lot of lag like that. Just on PlayStation, it's very annoying. You want him to walk that way, so you can shoot him. You're gonna run up here. Just gonna sit like right here. You'll be able to see their heads peek up right here. Okay. Um, if that happens, just kind of run back down. Get them all. Grab some guns. Grab some weapons. Some right here. Like I said, port plunder. Take your time. Grab some guns over here. As soon as you uh, cross a certain point right here, you will spawn some people in. And go ahead and spawn them in. Whoa. Just take your time, you know. Beat corners. Once you kill these guys, you're gonna get those guys. As soon as you kill him, run back here. Grab your pistol. Get Mr. Shoot Boy right here. You're gonna have another shoot boy. That guy that that can't reach you and only reach that far. <sighs> oh, I forgot. Keep your melee weapon there. You can have a jugger, two sni two sniper boys right here, wait until he gets out of the way, then you can Take out the jugger, make sure you have it lined up. Or just miss like that. And probably I um had a, a pistol despawn. That is the saddest thing I, I've ever ever had happen to me in this game. Side. Take him out. Hide kind of like right here. Make sure they don't get close. That's about all three of them. Then you have Sniper Boy. Every shot counts here. So don't open the gate yet. Go ahead and get some pistols. Be super safe. Don't even risk falling in the water. You want some melees too. So set your melees here. You can go ahead and take the one off your back so you can put some on your back. You can put one on your back, you know. Um, they did make they did make Crescendo a little bit harder since one of the last times I played it. You used to have a uh, holster. You used to be able to holster stuff on your sides. Now you can only holster your weapon. You only have your back uh, holster now, so that that makes it uh, Crescendo a lot harder on you. Don't jump in this water, it will kill you. A little bit of lag there. Once you think you have enough, you can get all of the, the pistols that you want. I'm gonna get about one more round, and I should be good because you will you will be able to get more pistols when you go in there. So I'm gonna grab about one more round because I'm pretty confident at hitting headshots, but you know. Back then, I wasn't confident in it, and I ended up using a whole stack of pistols. 
And this is what usually what me and my friend do if we're getting S rank. A little bit of lag, you know. Everyone has that. But yeah, don't don't even get close in, to getting in the water. Go ahead and get your one on your back. Step on the plate and sit right here. They can't see you through this. So you can just kind of stick your gun through. They're just gonna walk towards you. So you kill them all, you get some more. I'm not sure if I can hit this guy, but I'm gonna try. Ah! There we go. I think I missed. Okay, that's mostly all. Go ahead and run in here, grab some more, take them back here. This is why I'm saying I'm pretty confident. Just gonna put them in your little, your little pile. Once you get up a little farther, you'll spawn in some more people back there. Don't worry though, you can just sit back here and take them all out. The amount of pistols will lag your game out just a little bit but you'll be fine <sighs> um this is all the pistols in this area go ahead and run up here grab it in spawn these guys run back so that sniper back there can't get you port plunder is probably the longer one. Oh yeah by the way i figured out how to do um stamps for stuff so like it will uh you can look like in the in the videos and it will have the lines telling you which which part is which and you can just do it if you kill those three you'll get three more and I'm gonna show you a little something you can do real quick to take out take out the juggers and the one of the snipers I am a little laggy so I am gonna recalibrate after this Oh wait, never mind. I lied. You get four uh, little swords, boys. Think, yeah, four little swords, boys. I'm gonna go ahead and recalibrate because my game is lagging and it's screwing my hands over. So what you gotta do is you're gonna you're gonna take two of these right here. Okay, um, that didn't work. Then try to get like right here. Try and. Sp Spawn the jugs in. I think I have to walk a little further in to spawn them in. But uh, once you go up here, be careful. You have this guy around here. You can just snipe him real quick. There we go. Got Mr. Jugger spawning. So you have to go up a little further to spawn the Jugger. Again, you're not talking to the best shot. Uh, best shot that I've seen is both Aya. Mister, you, you live to see a little bit more because because it, the world was nice to you. Just gonna shoot this guy. Come over here. Run back a little bit. Take your time right here. And then take them out. Now what I recommend is go ahead and take that one melee off your back. Keep a pistol on there. Go grab another melee and then go to the next level and I'll show you why. This quest just takes about 30 to 45 minutes. About the way I play it. But we're going into probably the hardest level once you pass this you're pretty much set port plunder and this are the hardest levels go and drop your swords right here you're gonna get a gibbet right here the new enemy just gonna spam your guard button roll it back go kill him do stay a little further away because these can kill you once he's killed that's the only guy that spawns up here then you're gonna come up here go ahead and Throw your swords down so you can use them for later. As soon as you come down, you're going to run this way. Shoot the bottle that spawns in over here. You're going to get another bottle over here. Be careful about him. And you're going to kill them. Once you got that, you're going to get snipers spawn. And then the 
swashbucklers will already be spawned in, but you should have them killed by then. So as soon as you get down there, just run, shoot this guy, shoot this guy. So like, it should look like this. I did have some lag, but take him out as fast as possible. Take them out as fast as possible. Take Mr. Sword guys out as fast as possible. Try to shoot him. If you can't get him, it's fine. Watch out. Take your time. I am able to move around a bit more. Once you take out this last sniper guy, go ahead and get ready. Drop, drop that, grab a sword, find the juggler as fast as possible. He's the, he's the scariest. Fuck. Kill this, kill the guy right here. Kill this guy. Kill this guy that ran around to kill you this way. Go ahead and put a sword on your back. Grab two of these. Run up. Kill them as fast as possible. The only ones that you'll have to take care of really are the bottlers. They can throw pretty far, but they're they're not as dangerous as the uh, other guys that you. Do watch out, so I don't hit you. Dang. Try to find good swords too if you can. Throw that away. Oh, uh, I'm gonna want that sword for later. Where to go? Kind of keep this here. Watch out. Oh, lag. Fun. Okay, go ahead and just don't mind these guys. Run up here. Please tell me I killed the guy. Okay, I killed the guy up here. Go ahead and take this one. Throw it down at that guy. But um, be careful right here. To get away away from that trench post because you can't kill yourself. Oh, I didn't get both of them like I wanted to. I'm gonna take the other two jugs. Jump down here. I sucked at throwing that one. I'm gonna go ahead and kill this guy that's really low. Run around. Watch out. Hit him. Step back. Then go ahead and grab his last bomb like this. Throw it back. And you should die. Oh, I went too far. Whoop. Doop. It'll explode at the same time every way. Make sure you got a good pistol. Grab the two swords I was talking about. Actually, save these two swords. Save them. So go ahead and put them over here. Um, I may have overdid it with the use of swords I did. But go ahead, how you're gonna play this is grab this, make sure that that doesn't happen. Um, do not get right here, you can get stuck in a spawn, a, a respawn point that constantly respawns you. But you're gonna get a bottler and a sniper, I think that's what it is. As soon as you press this barrier, just go like this, run, strafe, strafe, run, strafe. Focus on... Taking out him, then just gonna take out, take your time, get back from that, grab one. So you do that. Be careful about that. This can kill you. Now come up here. You have these guys spawn in. Take your time, aim. If you miss, don't worry. It's not really gonna do anything. They can't get you from there and they can't come off the post. Again, go ahead and alarm him. Um, no, you're gonna, don't go down that way because you can hit a respawn point and it will kill you. So do run around the long way. Keep your two swords, you're saving those for the cave level. Grab this. And then go over here. Um, be careful about this part when you're doing this too. 
I'm gonna go ahead and drop this so I can actually use one to block and use the other to attack. Um, so go ahead and jump down this way. That happened so unlike I wanted it to. Hit him as fast as you can. You have that guy there. Come back here. Shoot him. I recommend coming this way. Shooting him. I have no clue where Mr. Sniper Boy went. But go ahead and come back this way. Get up here. Jump over there. Jump up this way. Jump right here. Come up here. Oh, you don't really have to worry about this guy. Go ahead and take him out. Um, I don't think you can spawn these guys from over here. You do have to go over there. So go ahead and grab your two pistols. Don't really matter about this guy. Just kind of run past him. Try to knock him off if you can. Like that. Come over here. I'm uh, just going to run like this. I'm not sure if these guys can see you from here. But peek around right here. Try to take out him. Like that. They can see you from there. Peek around. Take out him. Then run back across the bridge. Try to shoot him as you're running. As so. Then. Wait so he can't shoot you. You can body shoot, shoot him because you're not going to be taking any of the pistols. In the next level. Go back and grab your two swords. Uh, go ahead and take, if you have anything on your back, take it off. I don't have anything. You may be wondering why I'm not taking the pistols. It is because um, this level is a lot about um, close range combat in the caves. And you'll see that exact reason why. Go ahead and jump around right here. There is a, like a little invisible barrier that will catch you. Go ahead and run around. Go around here. Run across the bridge like this. Once you hit this, it's not going to let you open the door. It's just going to make an animation noise. Jump in the water and you can see again. You can just kind of run around. You can do this in a whole bunch of other things like crescendo. You can you can hit the, the kill barrier and it will respawn you. So, uh, you, if you're wondering why I have one sword on my back, it's because you do have to actually carry a torch in the caves level. So, you're gonna carry that. This thing is indestructible, it just doesn't do very much damage. You're gonna kind of hold it above your head. Kind of just move these out of your way. Oh, a little bit of lag. Just kind of hold it above your head about right here so the bottles can't hit you. And use your sword to hit hit them. And always make sure you're blocking with this. And also, you can stack some boxes up. Get some sh uh, chests over there. There's also a blunderbuss that you can grab up there. I'm not going to take that, though. But uh, congrats if you made it this far. This is the thir third to last level. And then you have the easiest level of all time. Then I'm going to show you why it's so easy. Some people may think it's a little hard, but find it easy. Once you pass the... Okay. Already kind of spawned them in. Just gonna run, do this, swap out, spam like that. As soon as you kill this guy, oh well, no, once you, once you get two done, you got those. Just gonna, just gonna sit here, throw it back up, watch out, because it can roll back down like that, and it can kill you. Just gonna throw it back up at him. Okay, um, like that, then you can just come around the side, throw a jug at him. Uh, now I'll take a, a broom with you, you're gonna get a swash, two swashbucklers and a bottle over here. But what you're gonna try and do is, him before he has a chance to spawn in, so you don't really have to deal with them, run around the side right here, and then just hit him right here. Um, now you don't need any swords. So you're pretty much good. Go ahead and 
actually go ahead and take no 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 don't take it grab this um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna leave this here i'm gonna make sure i don't have any of those and for it's for a certain reason why but as soon as you jump across you're gonna get a bottler over here bottler over there as soon as you kill this bottler jump across try to take him out as soon as you do that try to kill him as fast as you can it don't really matter you can take some pistols with you that's the end of the level that's the only thing that can kill you if you do fall down don't worry it doesn't kill you it doesn't count as points or anything it doesn't take away gold it doesn't do anything just gonna run over here and congrats you've made it to ghost beard this is not ghost beard but um congrats you've made it there i did drop the torch i don't know why i dropped the torch uh you don't get it in this level if you could just take the torch out the entire thing that'd be op it'd be like the whip the crescendo i'm about to show you something only playstation players can do and there's a reason only playstation players can do this because they get basically a teleport feature now if you are using teleport i'm pretty sure you can actually get through here but you may not be able to because i've never done teleport on here but if not, you have to jump down here and you have to fight the people over here. It's only a little bit if you're using swords or something. It shouldn't, it shouldn't really affect you. Go ahead. Recalibrate your head. Go through. We'll do that. And then you just come down right here. It'll spawn you right here. Then you just jump down over here. You actually have to drop that. Grab this puzzle piece. Run around here and you get the second puzzle piece. Don't go up these, you'll spawn in enemies and you have to fight when you don't have to fight at all on this level. Just kind of run past these and don't hit them. And you're gonna jump right here, you're gonna climb, you jump right here, jump right here, jump up here, get on this mushroom, jump over to this left one or get hit by that and then fall right here. Thank God I fell right here. But jump up on this chain and then try not to hit that right there jump over here you want to be as far away from that from that because if you do cross the line right here you will spawn them and you'll have to fight them before you go to ghost beard you can do you can't uh just rest right here and take a break in ghost beard because you don't have to fight them yet and you just kind of try to strategize that's what i was doing in my last one so what i did was i come down here and i throw some pistols over here and because they won't spawn in yet just gonna take some pistols just throw them over here so i can use them by that by that farthest waterfall over there then i'm gonna run for it take out that guy on the bridge take out this guy uh the cannons can't kill you Go ahead and take out the snipers, like you can see. As soon as you do this, only take out one, and there's a reason why. Because the cannons won't actually count as people. So I'm actually going to take out the, the cannons first. So go ahead and run up here. And run straight away, straight away. You're gonna want to be at this cannon. This is the only cannon that can hit him. Hit back, uh, Ghost Beard on his first thing. Nobody Aim this island with my a little bit after treasure. Shoot at him. Uh, it won't go through sometimes. But make sure you hit him right here. Or don't hit him. And then he'll fight. Oh, he won't fire. Hit him before he fight. Is he? I swear, if I get this glitch, I'm going to die. I'm going to commit die. Here to shoot him. Try to get him again. If you can't, it is fine. Um, I do have to do this. I'm gonna grab two swords. You're gonna sit right here. Hold one above your head. Hit over that way and then quickly slash back. If you don't get him, it don't matter. I had a glitch right there. Take breaks, swap out your swords, like this. Take Blackbeard as slow as possible.
Or you can hit down like that and knock them away. Always keep one to block with. Rest your arms while you're waiting for them to come because uh, it will hurt and just take your time. This is a long boss fight. Make sure you're blocking with both because they they can glitch through. But that, like, um, it, it's weird. Sometimes they'll hit you, sometimes they won't, and it's scary. Blackbeard can't see you over here, though. Or, I mean, Ghostbeard. He, he can't see you over here, so uh, he won't be able to kill you. Kind of get the swords out of the way. Kind of skip it forward when you need to. As soon as that happens, run over here. Because you get Ghost Beard spawn in. Try to hit him twice right here if you can, because you do not want to fight him again. I missed. I'm going to go ahead and take out these guys. As so. I'm going to... I'm going to... Take out some of these guys. As I can. Oh, I hit one of them with the torch. Um... There, this is the hardest part with ghost beard Scoot the swords out of the way because they You get some more spawn in over there This is about to be where ghost beard spawns in And he, he won't be able to see you He'll just float around over there because he, he won't know what to do You gotta take out those guys, and then I'm pretty sure Ghost Beard spawns. Buddy, you good? But, but, oh, he's out there. Okay, Ghost Beard's out there, and I have to somehow alarm this guy. If this hap, oh god, if this happens, I, oh. Okay, here's how you're gonna do this. Um, don't have anything on your back and be prepared for this because he will shoot this. Also, go watch by both Aya's tutorials. They are way better than mine. I've j I'm just making easier guides. Um, as soon as you get out here, uh, kind of run, bait him right here, make him shoot at you. As soon as he shoots, run, 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 run. If that happens, run backwards away from the cannons. I'm gonna get bait him in the middle. I did that right there. Get away from the cannons as far as possible. Bait him. Run as soon as he makes that. Bait him. I'm gonna bait him again from right here. I'm gonna bait him in the middle. I'm gonna miss a lot. Just take your time. That should be the end. If you hit him right, watch out for the cannon. And you've defeated Ghost Beard in one of the hardest quests. You'll get your stuff right here. Uh, if you're playing three player, you got one box right here, one box right here, and one box right here. But as you can see, you will get your S rank easy as that. You'll get you'll get your quest complete, daily quest completion. Just kind of do that. Um, this is one of the harder quests, I think, because it took me more tries than golden trophy, more than crimson, um, more than uh. Ready to start. Jumbotron, not not as much as Jumbotron. Jumbotron is the hardest quest in the game. Uh, some people may disagree with me. It takes about 40 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes, somewhere within there, and you can just solo, get your S rank. Just be careful when you're playing Blackbeard because he can kill you like that. Um, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button because these are hard to do. And 
in the video I just found out that you could do. There will be timestamps of each act or room that you go to. So like if you're if you're struggling on this room, you can just automatically skip to it and do that and it will have everything on there that you can just look at. So thank you for watching the video today and I'll see you guys later.